you guys i know it has been a little bit since we've done a what sold on poshmark but that's exactly what we're doing today hello and welcome to my channel my name is danica i'm a part-time reseller based in calgary alberta canada I sell on Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US. I do have a video on how I do that on my channel. So if you're wondering how to sell on Poshmark US from Canada, just make sure you check the link in the description where, yeah, I'll put a link there and you can watch the video. Um, but anyway, like I said, today's video is a what sold video and I have not done one in a while. So. If you've been with my, you know, like watching my channel for a while, I used to do two videos a week, consistently two videos every single week. And life has just changed a little bit. Things are slower at, you know, with YouTube. And I don't want you to think that things are slower for me with Poshmark. They are maybe a little bit slower, but not that much slower. I am actually really proud of how much I'm doing with Poshmark. And I think that, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I've been putting the work in and it's showing. So without further ado, this is sales from like a month ish. I've made actually a few decent, decent sales in the last week, but we're just, you know, staying true to ourselves. These are sales for one month ending February 26th. So this is a little bit dated. I'm sorry, but still very good information to have. So first we will be going over Poshmark Canada sales and then we will be going over Poshmark US sales and then we'll have a little bit of a chit chat with, you know, how much I made, what information I can share with you on like, you know, how old the listing was and kind of where my Poshmark side hustle is heading. So without further ado, here we go. Poshmark Canada, first sale i'm going to tell you about is this free people ottoman sweater this i think was a personal item i had bought it though on poshmark i think sold for 98 dollars. i was really happy with that if you're new to my channel welcome i have been reselling for like a few years now and i have done every single little like business model you can think of I started selling my own clothes and then started reselling items that were thrifted during the pandemic. I was laid off from work. I shifted to actually receiving donations from people and selling those. And then I was off my full-time job. So I was like volume selling. I was going to the bins and like just selling an insane amount of stuff. And now that I'm kind of slowing down a little bit, I am sourcing less, selling less, but I'm trying to make sales that are like more than $50. So just for context, that's where we're at. First one, $98. We're happy to see that. If you see me looking down, my laptop's just down here. <laughs> I have my information down there. So next sale is this Abercrombie dress. And this was again another personal item but i had worn it and i was just like i don't think i'll wear this again so i decided to sell it did i lose money on it yup 32 dollars though whatever i'm happy to make some money next sale is this lululemon pink swiftly top i had thrifted this it was not even listed for that long and sold for 26 dollars. this is obviously less than the 50 dollars i want to make per sale but still for a lululemon swiftly tech tee that is really not bad i really cannot complain with you know with that sale at all next this pair of rebecca minkoff boots they sold for 54 dollars. this was kind of an iffy item for me to grab rebecca minkoff in my opinion is very hit or miss i will still grab some of her items every once in a while but i try to be very picky i remember checking comps on this pair of boots and i was like it could really go either way but I guess we'll see what happens and i'm glad i did i had them listed way higher but someone sent me an offer i think and i accepted the next sale is this free people dress let me pull it up here on my computer because i'm like what am i even talking about mm, yeah this free people okay this free people dress 
um new romantics i think it was my first time ever finding that like sub brand of free people and i was excited again comps were like hit or miss but i just decided to take a chance and yeah obviously i'm glad i did 40 dollars can't be mad at that <laughs> Next is this pair of Intimately Free People joggers. I think, no, I didn't get those at the bins. I thrifted them. Another $40 sale. Again, less than what the average sales price is of what I'm trying to get, but still happy with that. $40 is close enough, and I do have some higher amount sales that kind of bring me in that um, average they weren't anything crazy they weren't anything and honestly intimately free people does not sell that well for me so i was happy with 40 dollars. next is this pair of ugg classic ultra mini booties i got these on an online auction and i was so stoked they sold for 89 dollars, which is i think i had them listed for 110 and these are still like a hot boot a hot commodity they're hard to find every once in a while so i just figured i would hop on the train and sell them and yeah $89 really happy with that that was like a great great sale along with this next one this Patagonia torrent shell three liter rain jacket this was yeah like a full zip this was also from a online auction sold for $100 I probably paid like 30 bucks for it but still really happy with that um profit $100 Poshmark takes 20% so $80 minus 30 I made like 50 bucks profit on this sale and that is something I'm really happy with next is this free people bralette $15 like I got this at the bins and I just like couldn't leave it because it was so cute $15 I think is more than generous for this um I got lucky that it sold <laughs> next this pair of Veja Rion Bronco whatever sneakers they sold for $65 I remember thrifting these and I've been wanting a pair of Vejas for so long but I want like the cute white ones not that these aren't cute but they are my size and I was like thinking about keeping them but then decided to list them and good thing I did they sold actually quite quickly and $65 I'm not upset with I am going a little bit quickly just because we do have like a decent amount of sales to get through and I don't want this video to be like an hour long so next is this free people ottoman um tunic where am i at here am i going backwards or did that cancel i don't have it on my list anyway um sold for 60 dollars. this was a personal item again happy with the 60 dollars. not mad at it next this aloe yoga rib knit sweatpants these i got at a consignment store they're size large i was gonna keep them didn't like how they looked on me checked comps and was like i need to get these listed asap 54 dollars. really happy with that i'm like really not upset um really not upset at all next is this lululemon scuba oversized half sit hoodie in a roasted brown this was a personal item this was brand new with tags yep i paid retail for this i never wore it once not once sold for 82 dollars. obviously at a loss i paid 118 for it plus tax but you know what 82 dollars is better than it just like sitting in my closet collecting dust next uh this pair of abercrombie the mom high-rise shorts these are size 31 it's not summer so i was like excited for these to sell 36 dollars. not mad at that at all um yeah, I mean, summer's coming. People are going on vacation and Abercrombie & Fitch used to be like a really good seller for me. It's like kind of slowing down, but honestly, still not bad. I would still grab. <laughs> Next is this pair of John Fluvog men's lace-up brown like loafers. They sold for $96. These were listed for a long time. I love, love, love sourcing and selling John Fluvog shoes men's styles tend to take a while to sell so 96 dollars though you love it next this pair of ugg marin platform lace sneaker lace up sneakers um i got these at an online auction as well i was gonna keep these tried them on and was like mm, i don't really know if they're for me uh, but they sold for 78 dollars so 
really excited about that. Again, I probably paid like 20-ish after shipping and everything. So still a good buy. I tried to buy things from the online auctions that I will still like either wear or if I don't like them that they'll sell well. And so it did. Next, this Love Shack Fancy Target collaboration tiered dress. I've had this for a few years. I wore it to Stampede this year <laughs> and it was just time to let go. I sold it for $75. I had bought it on Poshmark US, I think a long time ago, like years ago. So whatever, it was fine. I'm happy that like, you know, I got to use it and sell it. Next is this pair of Jimmy Choo Allure Kitten Heel, you know, pumps. I actually sourced these not that long ago and listed them pretty quickly and they sold very quickly for $103. So Jimmy Choo doesn't sell for like an insane amount like you think that some luxury brands would, but $103, like you really can't be mad. And to that point, the next sale is the pair of Free People James ankle heeled booties and they sold for 98. So like Free People and Jimmy Choo are selling for like the same amount. Kind of weird, but it is what it is. Those boots, again, sourced not that long, like sourced not that long ago, they were not listed for very long at all. And so I'm really happy with that. Next, this Fossil Vintage Revival Messenger Bag. Um, it was in a little bit of a rough shape. I did get it at the bins, but it did sell for $47. I had pictures of all the like little, you know, things that were wrong with it. And so $47, really not mad at it. Next, this pair of Spanx full leather leggings. These were a personal item. They were size medium. They're just too small for me now. <laughs> so I sold them for $61. I had bought these secondhand too, probably on Poshmark. So if you see a trend, I am also like really going through my personal closet and getting rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't wear or is too small for me or whatever. So yeah, obviously I don't think I made my money back. Maybe I did, but like 61 bucks, not an amazing sale, but still better than having it sit in my closet collecting dust next this coach wristlet again this is from courtney's little coach stash she gifted me to resell um so my cost of goods was zero and they sold for 32 dollars. those like coach stuff have been selling slowly but surely over the last year whenever she gave me that um, next is this Gabby Sky V-neck uh, floral print dress. I got this on Poshmark like two years ago for my mom's funeral. <laughs> and I just realized I wasn't gonna wear it again. Um, I don't think I would like really want to wear it and like have those, you know, memories. So I sold it, 49 bucks, good to go. Next, this pair of Levi's wedgie skinny jeans. Um, wedgie jeans, I don't know. They're like hit or miss. Check your comps. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Sold for $46. And my cost of goods is probably like 10 to 12. So that is everything that sold in one month on Poshmark Canada. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like 21, 22 sales. I'm missing one. That free people Ottoman is like not on my list, but it's in my sales here. So I'm gonna add it, free people ottoman, $60. So I actually made, oh shoot, um, 96, $1,396 gross on Poshmark Canada in one month. Really not that bad, but also don't like be crazy and think that I made $1,500 on Poshmark. That does not include my cost of goods, doesn't include the percentage that Poshmark takes, doesn't include like, you know, my expenses like gas and subscriptions that I have for my Poshmark, my packaging, all that kind of stuff. So did $103,096 go into my bank account? No, but still not bad. Now, Poshmark US. Let me, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. How do I? <laughs> Nothing makes me feel older than like trying to do stuff on the computer. I like to think I'm like pretty smart with computer stuff, but I don't think I'm really that good. Okay, 
So Poshmark US, way less sales, like way less. And I have the same stuff listed on both closets. Sometimes my Poshmark US sale is just like popping off though. And sometimes it's not. So it just wasn't this month and that's okay. So we will start with this Lululemon scuba hoodie, full zip oversized scuba. I got this in Victoria. I thrifted it and like listed it and sold it very quickly. I was really happy with that and $78. I was so stoked. That is a great sale for me. Next, this free people um, crop like thermal thing, $29, not bad, free people. Kind of hit or miss sometimes, I think. I just like didn't know that brand when I started reselling and I think that now that I know it, I'm like, want to sell it all the time and I do like their clothes, but like I need to be pickier, you know? Next, this vintage yellow knife graphic print like crew neck. I've had this forever and I was so sad that no one wanted it and I would like list it and then delist it, list it, delist it and I never had the heart to redonate it and then finally it sold $26. Nothing like crazy or amazing, but you know, we'll take it. Next, this pair of Mother the Wilder Flare jeans. I got like a thousand questions on Poshmark about these. Um, it was annoying, but they sold for $87 in the end. Very happy. Mother, again, can be a little hit or miss. You like never really know if you're gonna make $20 or $100. So I was really happy with this $87 sale. Next, this pair of Hoka 1-1 Bondi X running shoes. This was a personal item of mine. I bought these at Winners. I don't remember how much I paid. I'm not going to lie, but they sold for $110. I had worn them once, so I couldn't sell them as new a tag. Um, $110 I thought was fair, you know? But yeah, $110 US dollars in Canadian, that is much more. Next, this Lululemon lounge full hoodie. It's like an olive you know, sweatshirt, $48. Really happy with that. That definitely puts me over the 50 Canadian that I'm like aiming for. So 48 US is, we love it. And last but not least is this pair of Jimmy Choo Anouk nude pumps. Um, so, and those sold for 124. So all in all, my sales on Poshmark US for the month were 502 US. Now I have to redo because I did have one more sale on the US side, but I had to cancel it because they like had to verify my identification and it was like a whole thing. And then by the time that that was like approved, the girl needed her dress like the next day. So I just canceled because obviously it's not gonna make it on time. 502 US to Canadian is 682 Canadian, 683, but whatever, 682 plus 1396. So that means that my, what? That doesn't make any sense. What? 902, 682. <laughs> okay, 682 plus 13. I was gonna say, how did I end up making more money with one less sale? So 2000 and, really? 78 dollars Canadian in one month. And US, that is, whoops. $1,528. So that is what my sales were for the month of February. Again, like I said, um, my goal is kind of like just to make less sales, to spend less time on Poshmark, but to still be making like some money here and there. When I look at my average sales price, I'm at like 71, and a half dollars Canadian. That's pretty good considering I wanted it to be at $50. So yes, I'm making less money really on Poshmark, 
but that's okay. I'm not like really trying to be making like all this money on Poshmark right now. I have a lot of other stuff going on. And honestly, I think that this is still like a really good month for me. Um, yeah, some people are making like a thousand dollars a day, whatever, but that's just like not where I am in my life right now. And that's okay. I'm like here to, I like hope people watch my videos and they're just like, oh, I don't have to like quit my job and be a full-time reseller if I don't want to. Like, I don't aspire to be a full-time reseller. It's not for me. I know that I would not do well. I wouldn't like the like uncertainty. I like having a job and doing this on the side. If you want to do that, that's awesome. I hope you do but to me this is just like a way of making some extra money on the side to like pay for my gas and I get to shop so that's kind of where we're at and yeah I'm happy my next video I'm doing is a haul and I'm like looking at it and I'm like so excited I haven't done a thrift haul in so long so make sure that after this video you watch that video whenever it comes out and if you've made it all the way to the end thank you so much I hope you've subscribed to my channel because I just like really like having you around and if you found the information in this video you know useful make sure you give me a thumbs up before you go let me know in the comments how your sales have been on poshmark and i'll see you next time bye